Hey there, Chad Bonger here for High University Libraries. If you're looking to open a new restaurant or look at a new restaurant concept, you want to identify demographic variables of consumers, of potentially competitors or peers in the industry. This video shows you how to use Simmons OneView to identify demographic characteristics of those target consumers that you're after with your new business venture. So here you go. So for the purpose of my demonstration here, I'm going to assume I'm going to open a restaurant that's like similar to like Zaxby's. Okay, if you don't know what a Zaxby's is, Zaxby's is a chicken finger place that has uh, awesome Texas toast and crinkle cut fries and some zesty uh, Zaxby's sauce and some slaw. And it's a great place to, to go eat. Now, if you look at the locations here, you can see that uh, it's primarily in the southeast. So when I go home to visit folks in Tennessee or go down to visit my in-laws in Florida, we always stop at Zaxby's at least once or twice on the way there and back. So for my example in Simmons One View, what I want to do is get a basic um, demographic analysis of people who eat at Zaxby's. Okay. Now the cross tab is where Simmons defaults to when you when you first arrive at the database. But for the purposes of this demonstration, we're going to use the quick reports. And what the quick reports is going to give us is there's various options you can choose from. I'm just going to do a demographic profile, which gives us basic things like age, education, gender, uh, household income, that kind of stuff. Okay. Because I'm wanting a demographic profile of my target consumer of Zaxby's, we're going to use Zaxby's over here as my target. So I'm going to click edit here. And there's a few different ways to use this thing. We can we can go over and do a search and just kind of try to search and see what is available. You'll also see that there is, uh, if we scroll down, there is a section on dining whereby we can find a bunch of like fast food restaurants here and which ones you might eat at. And if you visit, you know, any fast food restaurants in the last month or so, and let's see, uh, Zaxby's is right there. Okay, so we can find it that way or we could also use the search feature and I typically select all here and because it's got a print, it's got a uh, exclamation or a apostrophe in it, excuse me, no my punctuation there, I will maybe just search Zaxby and you can kind of see what will happen. It'll put it in dining here, fast food restaurant and here we have things like, you know, number of visits in the last 30 days you know, I'm probably not going to choose 10 or more because that's like a really hardcore Zaxby's user and we're probably not going to find a whole lot of data on that. So I'm just going to choose people who have visited Zaxby's in the last month and we'll drag this over here and we'll close that out. Okay, so this says the sample size for those people who have visited Zaxby's in the last month is 210 people. Okay, now this fall uh, study here, it's a 12 month study, is about 23,000 people. Okay, so uh, so of those 23,000 people in the U.S., adults in the U.S., uh, 210 people answered, yes, I've been to a Zaxby's in the last uh, month. Okay, so we're going to run our analysis on this and see what kind of information we get. So once we get to our demographic profile here, here we see that uh, of all the adults surveyed, which was 23,689 adults over the age of 18, uh, 210 of them said that they had uh, eaten at a Zaxby's in the last month. So projected out, that's 1.19% of the U.S. population. Okay, here we have like the median household income, median age. We have income level, right? We have the age level. We have um, ethnic breakdown, okay, we have gender, things like that, okay. Now when you see these asterisks, okay, uh, this says the sample size was like 56, okay. Down here it says if it's below 60, it means the projections that they're using may be unstable because they didn't have enough people who answered yes, I eat at a Zaxby's, okay. So let's go over here and change this. And I'm going to go back and click edit here. And so let's say I'm trying to, let's look at just a state, okay? So let's, I want to say of all the people in Tennessee who've eaten at a Zaxby's, what's a demographic profile? So I can use Tennessee as a base here. I'm going to click edit because there's a lot of Zaxby's in my hometown of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And if we go under lifestyle demographics here, there is 
uh, under geography state codes. Okay, so what I can do is go down and find, you know, we love our chicken fingers down in, down in Tennessee. So we're going to drag this guy over here to Tennessee, close this out, and now we can run our analysis just on Tennessee. Okay, now notice we got our sample size of 260 here for Tennessee, uh, and we've got a sample size here of 210 for Zaxby's. So what's probably going to happen, if I had to predict, we're going to get a pretty small sample size. And it's probably not going to give us the, 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 the type of data we want here. So let's see. Yeah, so this is a problem. Um, this says, of all the people who said that in the survey, only 260 people were from Tennessee in the, in the overall survey. And only 13 of those said they have eaten out of Zaxby's in the last uh, month or so. Okay, and that's really, it's got double asterisk, which means projections are likely unstable, used with caution. Because it's at like 13, I wouldn't use this at all. Okay. Now, so what I would do, but you do notice that we would get a higher percentage of people, right? Uh, what we might do is change this and let's look at all these locations. We see that it looks like Zaxby's is all over the Southeast United States. And so let's go back up here and edit our Tennessee and then edit it. I'm going to X out of that, and get rid of Tennessee. And so let's just put in a bunch of states where there happen to be uh, a Zaxby's locations. Okay, so we're going to go under um, back under demographics, back under state codes, and we'll just hold the the control key down and do. Uh, there's Georgia, there's Florida. Here we got Kentucky. Here we got Louisiana. All right, here we have. Let's do uh, North Carolina. Let's go back and make sure we got, yeah, we're doing good here. Uh, let's do South Carolina, of course, Tennessee. And then uh, Texas will be a big one here. Okay. So what we can do is now drag all these guys over here. All right. And we're adding multiple items. And because you can't live in more than one state at one time, you want to or those, right? I can't live in Kentucky and Tennessee at the same time, but I can either live in Kentucky or Tennessee, right? So I'm going to, I'm going to, or all those, it's going to look like this some kind of funky mathematical thing. And I'm going to change this description here to, uh, states, we'll just call this states with, uh, Zaxby's. Okay. And we're going to use this again. Notice our base is still empty. We're going to use that as our base. All right. Close that out. And now, wow, that's pretty good. That's a lot larger than the, just the 210 people or 206 people we had in Tennessee. Now we're looking at 7,800 people total out of the whole survey. Okay. We're going to run our analysis there. And so now we're probably going to get a better picture based upon not only the location of Zaxby's, but looking specifically at those states. And here we see that of all those people, okay, who live in those states with Zaxby's, 189 of them visited in the last month, which is 3.8% of the population. So that's pretty good. So we're getting better data here by refining that to a particular location uh, in Simmons One View. And that's how we can kind of look at uh, a target uh, demographic profile for our target consumer of a particular restaurant. So there you go. Hopefully this video helped you. Should you need more help, look for the contact link on the business blog. We've got to help you any way I can. Take care and best of luck with your research.